What kind of vacation do you want? If you want to relax in peace or go on an exciting adventure, Costa Rica has a huge range of choices for you. We can help you if you don't know where to start. We'll show you 10 interesting places to visit in this amazing country in this video. So come with us as we start an exciting journey through Costa Rica's stunning beauty and charm. Number 1. San Jose At the moment, San Jose is Costa Rica's main vacation spot, where people come from all over the world to visit. There are many historic, artistic, educational, and new development sites in this capital city. The National Museum, which opened in 1887, is one of San Jose's historic places. It started out as a way to give the country a public place to store and organize natural and artistic goods made in the country. More arts can be found at the Costa Rican Art Museum, which has beautiful paintings and statues by Costa Rican artists from 1950 onward. Do not miss the Jade Museum in the National Insurance Institute building. Its display has a large number of archaeological ceramic and rock artifacts made by the native people of Costa Rica. You can also be amazed by famous sites in San Jose, like the National Theater, the Church of Our Lady of Mercy, the Post and Telegraphs Building, and the Melico Salazar Popular Theater. Number 2. Torchiguero National Park One of the main places where sea turtles lay their eggs is in Torchiguero. You will see different kinds of turtles, like green, leatherback, and hawksbill turtles. You can see this nature show from July to October. Visit Torchiguero National Park, which is one of the most famous ecotourism spots in the world. It is home to a tropical rainforest and big, beautiful wetlands. Visitors can navigate lagoons and channels and see land turtles, monkeys, crocodiles, caimans, and many other birds and animals. Keep in mind that you can only get to the park by water or air. Number 3. Playa La Fortuna, Arenal Volcano You shouldn't miss the chance to see the amazing Arenal Volcano as a tourist. This is the highest point in La Fortuna, and its almost perfect volcanic cone is known all over the world. Park Arenal Volcano, Lake Arenal, and La Fortuna Waterfall can all be found here. In the area around the park, you can relax, enjoy nature, and also get your heart racing. There are also hot springs, waterfalls, woods, lakes, caverns, and beautiful old streets like the ones in La Fortuna. If you like coffee, you shouldn't miss North Fields Cafe, which shows how the golden bean was grown in traditional ways. If you want to be close to nature and have fun, Mystico Park is the place for you. The reserve is home to many kinds of wildlife, and you can enjoy activities like horseback rides, boating, and seeing Arenal Volcano in all its glory from hanging bridges in the forest. Number 4. Monteverde The beautiful environment in Monteverde is mind-blowing. This place is famous around the world for its cloud forest, beautiful scenery, and exciting things to do all over. It has 2.5% of the world's species in its natural wealth. This is where you can visit two big parks. One of them is the Monteverde Rainforest Reserve, which covers 10,500 hectares of land. For 100 types of birds, over 100 types of mammals, and 2,500 types of plants live in this area. It has 13 kilometers of tracks where you can go for a walk. The second is called St. Helena Cloud Forest Reserve, a beautiful forest that covers 310 hectares and is home to hundreds of birds, including the resplendent Quetzal and the three wattled bellbird. The plants there include orchids, trees, ferns, and heliconia. Without a doubt, these areas will take you deep into beautiful nature. Number 5. Manuel Antonio Manuel Antonio is one of Costa Rica's paradises on Earth. It is on the Pacific coast, south of Capos. People think it is one of the most beautiful places in the country because it has beaches, coral reefs, and forests. Manuel Antonio National Park is its main draw. In 2011, Forbes magazine named it one of the 12 most beautiful parks in the world. Also, over 360,000 people come every year, making it the most popular national park in Costa Rica. It covers 55,000 hectares of sea and 1,625 hectares of land. The tropical rainforest, home to endangered plants and animals, is one of the main draws. Snorkeling fans should go to Manuel Antonio. The reefs and calm seas make it easy to do this sport and get close to huge schools of fish, such as parrotfish, which are an important part of the reef's ecosystem. Number 6. Drake Bay Drake Bay is on the Osa Peninsula and is sometimes called the Gateway to Corcovado. Drake Bay is also very beautiful, 
just like the nearby park. There are some of the most biologically diverse environments in the world in this small town. It's a nature lover's dream, as there are also many things to do outside, and the Pacific coast makes for a beautiful background. Drake Bay is very far away and lonely, so it has some of the most pristine natural beauty in all of Costa Rica. It has thick rainforests, beautiful beaches, and more. Drake Bay is the perfect place for a beautiful eco-retreat or one of the best places for couples to stay in Costa Rica to express Costa Rica travels. Number 7. The Nicoya Peninsula. Like the beach? We agree. The Nicoya Peninsula in the northwest of Costa Rica has some of the best beaches in the country. And unless you're heading off to one of the best areas to stay in Puerto Rico or one of the best Hawaiian islands for kids slash families, you're probably not going to find a better collection of beaches than on the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica's northwest. There are several small towns and villages on the Nicoya Peninsula, and each one has its own personality. Of course you can swim here, but you can also surf, fish, do yoga, and more. Nicoya is one of the five blue zones in the world. The healthiest people in the world live in these places. On average, they live longer, happier, and healthier lives. People who live in the blue zone usually move around every day, eat healthy, fresh food, another reason to go to Nicoya. The Nicoya Peninsula also has a lot of history and culture, with a lot of impact from the Corotega people who lived there in the past. The peninsula is also known for its unique crafts. This is the place to go if you want to find native Costa Rican pottery, textiles, or woodworking. Also, don't miss the famous town of Santa Teresa which is a great place to relax on the beach and get healthy. A lot of people like to go there for yoga vacations. It's also a great place to surf in Central America. Yoga practitioners, surfers, and travelers who need a break will all enjoy this spot where they can meet new people, relax, take a deep breath, and disconnect. Number 8. Rincón de la Vieja Rincón de la Vieja is another national park or garden of natural wonders in Costa Rica. It got its name from the active volcano that is inside its borders. Yes, you heard right, active volcano. The last time it erupted was in 2011. But Rinson de la Vieja has something really special, a geological setting that is one of a kind, with geysers, hot springs, mud pools, craters, and beautiful hiking trails, waterfalls, and thick jungle. Number 9. Uvida. Uvida is a beautiful beach town on Costa Rica's Pacific coast, where people come from all over the world to watch whales. Every year, humpback whales come to the area to mate, give birth, and feed their young. They come between July and October and again from December to April. The best part is that you can see these amazing animals in their natural environment on a boat or a guided kayak trip. Keep in mind, though, that you should stay away from exploitative tours and spammy adventures in Costa Rica. Number 10. Guanacast. It's true that Guanacast has beautiful white sand beaches, clear water, and great conditions for surfing, but the island is more than just sun and surf. The town has beautiful nature and lots of things to do outside. The great food, music, and dancing are all influenced by the Corotega culture and make for a real and memorable experience. A lot of high-end resorts and spas are in this area, giving visitors a chance to relax and unwind. This is where many of the best Costa Rica resorts for families are situated. Thank you for coming with us on this amazing trip through Costa Rica's beautiful scenery. We visited 10 amazing spots in Costa Rica that showed why it is one of the most interesting places on earth, from the lush jungles to the beautiful beaches. If you like this video and want to see more of Costa Rica's amazing sights, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.